it's just at whatever. It's just a little bit of whatever. You just want to embarrass me. It's not going to happen, Brian. I've made a video, actually a few videos about these guys a little while ago, which were not well received. It's a recurring theme with a lot of stuff that I say because my opinions are a little bit too constructive and valid and most people's opinions when it comes to a lot of stuff tends to just be motivated purely by emotion. So, and that usually manifests in the cell itself in the form of, you know, download, 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 download. Anyways, um, I've said a lot of stuff about these guys and they were not positive praises because these guys essentially just invite stupid people on to talk with other stupid people and then a bunch of stupid shit gets said. They invite a lot of stupid women on who have a bunch of mindless backwards opinions on everything and then they just dunk on them. That That's, you know, they have an audience that they're trying to appeal to and it works very, very well. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to just, you know, listen to, look, watch some of their shorts and then react and give our opinion. A little rapid fire opinion. So, let's jump right into it. So this first one's called OnlyFans Chick Got Confronted it's an emoji so at whatever let's get to it it's just at whatever if you went to your parents and you asked them mm -hmm. you said you know I have a choice I can either quit doing all of this tomorrow right and go get a job for like a tenth of this or I can continue to do this and send you money mm -hmm. which one do you think they would ask my mom would say absolutely quit my dad he'd be like oh my god no why would you ever quit your dad would say that? My dad would say that I send money to my dad so that he can be comfortable with and like, he's a, their he's family. he's a pastor? He, no, he's not a pastor anymore. They stopped being a pastor when I was like 18. Okay, but he so. was and he retained his faith, right? He did. He did. I'm his daughter though. You know, I'm not just some yeah. stranger. He's like, you know what? If I, I want I think, her in my life... Doesn't that make it worse? <laughs> like, wouldn't that make it worse? Not. Don't you have would to you accept your kids though? for who they no. are? No. Yeah. What? And so what? you know. So if question. you had a kid and they were doing OnlyFans, what you just disown them to until they clean their life up, yeah. You're wow. a bad parent. Wow, that's my family that's would have absolutely my family would 100% just What about you're a bad kid? No, I All right. Um, I've shared my opinion about this dude. I've seen him before on this channel and I did not have any very many good things to say about this goddamn pudge. Um so, the things they went over. He's asking the girl if her parents would be okay with them stopping. The mom says, or, you know, OnlyFans. The mom says, yes. The father says, no, because he benefits from it. And it's like through a, a societal lens, if you were to contextualize it through self-preservation and self-benefit, why would you stop that? If OnlyFans is making you shit tons of money with small amounts of work, isn't that the point of business? Isn't that the thing that everyone looks at to determine how intelligent you are, how capable you are, but I'm guessing when it comes to this particular thing, because there's a bunch of stuff surrounding it, right? Sex work and our, our ideas towards it. People just don't like it. Yet, as a result, she lives a life of full autonomy and is able to benefit the people who've helped her as she was growing up, right? The fact that she sends her father money, her parents money. So it's like, you can shit on these girls all you want for doing this type of work, but it's like, why would you not? If society technically deems it good, because you're making lots of money. The thing that everyone only gives a shit about. People only care about how much money you make. And they're going to use that as a direct reflection of your competency in life. And if that's the thing that affords you the life that you want to live, why would you not do it? Why would you trade that up so that you can go and get a piece of shit job in which you're there to passively benefit other people exponentially so at your own detriment so that you can have this, this idea of respect? That doesn't mean shit. That doesn't mean anything. It's just people's feelings towards you. You should focus on the things that practically and tangibly benefit you. Okay, that's that opinion there. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the goddamn sour cream. Goddamn full-ass forehead, dude. And yes, the women that he's talking to are stupid. But it's like, if we're just talking about that opinion, this particular part, subject matter of what you guys are talking about, then it's like, you're wrong, dude. You're wrong through how humans have defined what's important. Because money is the only thing that matters. And these people have found ways to make money without much effort. So that's the one thing that people look at. They may look at all this other stuff and everything comes as a result of all sorts of other, other, thi other things that you do. Just in general, you're going to have to deal with crap that's related to all sorts of things. But that's inevitable when it comes to everything. Is it worth it? I don't know. You ask the, each individual person. Some people may say yes. Some people say, may say no. She would probably say yes, given the way she's talking about it. So... Don't have kids if you don't want to be worried about that shit. How about... All right, next video. It's called Christian OnlyFans... Can you show us the cross? 304? Cross. I think that's like a face plant. 
Oh, are we getting onto religion? Oh God, click away if, you're, if your opinion is not very good on this topic. Because you're not going to like what I have to say about this crap. Well, I haven't even know. I don't even know what they're going to say. I just read the title and now I'm going to watch this. So, um, yeah. Here we Can go. Can you show us the cross, the necklace? Oh, I have oh you have a tattoo. Yeah, I have a tattooed and I have the cross on my neck. Well, I'm curious, like, do you think God would approve of you doing OnlyFans yes, and porn? Yes, yes. God loves me. Yes, 1,000%. That's not, wait, God approves of you doing OnlyFans and porn? God loves me no matter what I do. God will always... No matter what you do? Yes. Do you wear the cross while you're engaging in shooting your porn? I do. Actually, I never take it off. I've actually never taken it off in like the past, I don't know, like five years. Get the years. rocks. Abdul? Yeah. Get the rocks. Get the rocks. Does Jesus say, if you love me, keep my commandments? So which commandment says not to act in porn? I can address that. The purpose of pornography is to create lust. Lust is one of the seven deadly oh sins. Oh my God. Lusting oh, is no. equivalent to adultery. Oh God, please stop. Stop it. You're all just but, a bunch of fucking dumbass primates. Oh man. You're all arguing over which are like of, of your own interpretation of an archaic delusion that you you were indoctrinated into. <laughs> there is no God. Religion's crap people made up so that they can control stupid, you know, primates back like thousands of years ago. And it, it's reverberated ever since because it gives people some sort of emotional, it allows people to feel a little bit better when faced with this callously indifferent reality that we, we all find ourselves existing within. And it's funny how you all argue this, like, as if, like, there's some merit to the stuff that you... It's all crap that you make up, yet you want to argue as if there's some concrete structural understanding to all these types of things. Ugh. You want to break it down into the, to the Bible, into, into how these, you know, written by primates and shit? Okay, lust is not okay, but in the Bible it says you can kill your children... Uh, if they oh, disobey you, you can sell your daughter to sex slavery if, um, you're, if people invade your village. God says kill gays. God says that women are inferior to, to man. And I'm just going off of the Old Testament, Christianity. Granted, every single religious text is mindless garbage. And it's all just crap that a bunch of archaic, shitty humans have created so that they can just control, you know, other archaic, stupid humans. Yeah, you're, all, you're both wrong, all of you. Uh, you believe that this is what your religious beliefs entail, and then that, that and this is what she believes that her re religious beliefs entail. It's just crap that you make up, and you're both doing it right, right? You're both making up crap, yet you're trying to apply the crap that you made up to each other based on crap that you believe, or were told to believe in. It's funny, also just logically speaking, if there's a God, which there isn't, God created everything. He created the landscape, he created time and space, he created people. If there's a God, you have no free will. You are a product of, of God's creation, and everything has already been, fa been fated for you. It's been determined without your consent. So God is the one that's making you say those things. God is the one that's making her do those things. God is the one that's created the, the, the very prospect of porn and lust and sex. God is the one that allows it to unfold. Every, all of those things is God's fault because he's an omnipotent, all-knowing creature that has unlimited power. Unless you're trying to make the argument that God's just like some evil, mad piece of shit scientist who just created the landscape. It's just like, all right, let me just create these things and then see what happens, what unfolds. Okay, then that negates the purpose of miracles and praying. And also, God's an evil, monstrous, disgusting piece of shit. So what's the point of worshiping him? Because you're afraid? Because you have no control? Of course you have no control. God, God created everything, and he's the one that is operating through you. Yeah, there's so much crap I can say about this, but we're just going to move on. Um, you're both wrong. All of you are wrong, as usual, as I've stated in my previous videos about these guys. So let's watch one more video and see what else you guys get wrong. Not that one. We'll watch. There's all sorts of videos that we can watch at any, many points. These guys are a billion different shorts. These guys are making so much fucking money. Oh my God. So much, so much content. So we'll watch more in the future if this one gets views and people are responding. These people aren't going to respond positively to this because my opinions are like well thought out and most people's opinions are not well thought out. So whatever. You just engage. Leave a like or dislike or leave a comment saying, you know, sharing your own opinion. Give me engagement. Give me views. Give me money. I'm trying to get monetized. So. <laughs> All right. Next video. OnlyFans girl triggered when he warns women not to do OnlyFans. Alrighty, let's see what you have to say. If any young women are watching, please do not model your lifestyle after her. Oh, Thank Jesus. you very much. 
<coughs> and that's from the Christian man. Yes, I'm looking out for you, young ladies. If you I'm ever, not judging if you. you ever, that's fine, but if you ever want to get married, there's a lot of young girls out there who want to get married someday. If pictures of yourself doing sexual things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. What are your kids going to think of this? They're I think Northwest is doing just asshole. fine. Nor- Northwest. Yeah, she's living oh, her life. Kanye's, yeah. Yeah, she's doing great with her mom. Yeah, I mean, given the option between a mom who has porn on the internet versus one who doesn't have porn on the internet, I would prefer if all of my friends couldn't see my mom fucking other dudes and sucking their dicks. I still no consider myself a Christian. Hot, I still consider myself a Christian. Yeah. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and I'm not a fucking judgmental person like oh. you. If any <laughs> That, that girl is pretty slow, isn't he? Just the, the way that she talks, she speaks like she's perpetually inebriated. <laughs> all right, uh, we already went over the religious crap. They're all wrong. It's just crap that was made up by other people that they were indoctrinated into because those people who were told to believe in that stuff told you to believe in it, right? That's how indoctrination reinforced itself, you know. Someone's parents tell them to believe in it, and they tell their children to believe in it, and they tell their children to believe in it. it it's a, that's how delusion, you know, reinforces itself throughout generations. In terms of the argument, uh, la, 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 la. would a child not want to see their mom fucking and sucking little kais, um for money? That depends on your priorities. I imagine a lot of people would have to... A lot of that strife would probably come from what other people are saying to you. But if you look at the practicality and how you are tangibly benefited, say if you... I don't know. Let's take Kim Keggs. That was the example they brought up, right? And Kanye West, all those fucking pieces of shit. <sighs> Those people probably um, would not give that up, given the lifestyle it affords them. You know, Kim K isn't just known for, you know, porn stuff. I mean, that was what got them their career. But like now they're making all sorts of money off everything else. And they're probably going to care more about how the, the life that they live as a result of their parents doing that type of shit. You're going to have to get... Everyone gets bullied for whatever it is. That's just one particular thing that people can get bullied for. Pick your poison, motherfucker. Everyone's faced with problems. All sorts of stuff that people are going to make up so that they can just put it onto you. And that's not going to be motivated by right or wrong. It's just going to be motivated by what people are thinking at the time and place. And who are those types of people who are in those positions to enforce these types of, you know, judgments and bullying onto you? And they bring up religion, of course, because, you know, humans are apes. The guy's wrong, the girl's wrong, the guy has a bunch of traditional inherited values, the girl's just dumb, and they don't really uh, understand things about life, right? Because, you know, you are going to be faced with those types of judgments and shame, but, like, you're going to be faced with random shit, whatever you do and don't do. So my advice, you don't have to take my advice, my advice is worthless and I don't matter, right? My opinion even if people have my respect, and if people didn't have my respect, it really makes no difference on anything. People's respect doesn't mean anything. But try to make decisions that will benefit yourself in the long run, or just benefit your life, and the your can, can make decisions that will contribute to your sense of life autonomy. And if OnlyFans grants you all sorts of money and a life that you like living, which you know it really depends on who you're asking. Some people regret it; other people don't. Other people run with it. Other people are shamed by it. It really just depends on how you handle it. Make those decisions. I can't really sit here and tell you be shamed because you do sex work. If, especially in regards to society, you are benefited exponentially so for doing such. I'm, I'm not, in terms of my personal preference towards it, regardless of society's ideas towards it, I don't give a shit. I don't care. Just don't be a piece of garbage human. That's the thing that should matter, but nobody cares about that. They care about the idea of these things. They don't care about the actual substance or merit of these of what these things entail. So, that's my opinion on it in regards to objective society and how we operate. If you're if the point is to make money and to live a life you want, that's what matters to people. To make decisions that benefit that. Cool. There you go. I just gave you the answer. You're welcome.